All right, I have an issue. My issue is that there's this debate, this great debate between central inverters and string inverters for utility scale power plants and maybe large commercial. My issue is that every single time with the industry's current state right now, I will choose a string inverter. Matter of fact, I don't even care what string inverter manufacturer it is, although I do have preferences, because central inverters currently aren't being supported by the manufacturers. They aren't. Sure, they have service teams, they have spare parts, they have extended warranties, they have all that. The issue is it doesn't make sense from a cost perspective to purchase any of those services. All of the parts inside the inverter, with a few exceptions, can be purchased from big component suppliers, electrical suppliers, wholesalers, all of that. The service itself, there's nothing really that special about the service technicians. Sorry guys, I, I love all of you out there who are service technicians for power plants or for uh, central inverters. But let's be honest, let's be clear and be honest with yourselves. You know, most of the o &M technicians that you work with on a daily basis with the right training can do your exact job. Yeah, there's, there's really nothing special there. Um, all of the service codes, all of the passwords, that's what makes you an inverter manufacturer service technician. Um, unfortunately, we're trapped right now. A lot of the people who purchase central inverters are trapped by the manufacturers. They cannot service their own equipment. They cannot replace parts inside the equipment. Um, and they, they can't even access all of the parameters and settings inside of the equipment without the manufacturer's help or assistance. Imagine having a brand new car. Car is supposed to last you at least 10 years, right? And now imagine your tire pressure gauge. You just get off the lot, you get home, it's been running great for weeks, and then your tire pressure sensor goes off because it's too cold, too hot outside, whatever. Maybe you've been nailing your tire, who knows? You go to put air in your tire and you can't take the valve, the cap off the valve without the manufacturer's password. Now you have to take the car all the way to the dealership and have a dealership technician look at the car, unscrew the valve and put air in it. Imagine that. That's what's happening with our central inverters right now is we're not being allowed to service them. We can't. We're, we're not technical enough. We don't have the right passwords. We don't have the right tools. That sucks. And that's my biggest issue with central inverters right now. It's not just one manufacturer. It's all of them across the board. They're all doing this. There's some inverter manufacturers out there right now that will not let you replace a fuse, a PV circuit fuse inside of the inverter and just held on by two bolts unless you go through the manufacturer's train, which is like $6,000 per person. So you can't, you're telling me you can't replace two bolts without that specialized training? Come on, that's ridiculous, it's absurd. There's another inverter manufacturer that will not use parts if they weren't purchased directly from them. So if you have an identical ABB breaker that goes inside the inverter, same exact one that they have inside there, if you didn't purchase it from them, they won't use it. They won't install it for you, nothing. You're left on your own to put that breaker in. God forbid you ever go out of warranty on this equipment. This is why I like string inverters. Anyone, not anyone, any electrical, uh, qualified electrical worker can go and replace a string inverter. It's not hard. Maybe you need two guys. So what? You can get that unit back up and running way faster than the central inverters. Now, all that being said, if there is a central inverter manufacturer representative watching this, please change your policies. It's, it's crazy. And I guarantee you at some point, someone is gonna find a way around exactly what you're trying to do, or your company's gonna lose business because your customers are so upset with dealing with this exact problem. Do yourselves a favor, change the industry. Be the change. The solar industry is all about you know, recycling and alternative energy, alternative solutions and saving the planet. It's not about making a profit off of, you know, this end customer. Like, like, don't just do it to take their money. Do it because you actually care about the solar industry itself. Do it because you want your inverters to last 25 years, 35 years even. 35 years for a central inverter. Okay, I'm sold. As long as there's clear instructions 
clear part lists, and you can service this equipment without a specialized password that could be lost over time. My favorite part about all this, and this is sarcastic by the way, is that once the inverters are out of warranty, it's so expensive to maintain the inverters that your best option actually turns out to be repowering. And the same inverter manufacturers come back with a new product and say, look, here's the new product. Let's repower your site since you can't afford to maintain this equipment anymore. Let's repower it with our new solution. And you're talking about like five, maybe 10 years in, they're talking about repowering a system that was supposed to last for 25 years. <sighs> oh, guys, this has to change. It has to. Your customers have to be able to service the equipment without you. Why wouldn't you enable them to be able to work on the equipment? People talk about it being, oh, well, we want to protect our, our equipment's proprietary technology that's inside. I mean, the only thing that's really proprietary inside of these things is the software itself and, and maybe some of the circuit boards that you've put in there. But for the most part, an inverter is an inverter. It has, they all have the same parts. Even in string inverters, it's basically the same thing. It's just been either scaled up or scaled down. Please, 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 please make a change. If you are a central inverter manufacturer and you are looking to make a change, please come out and reach, reach out to me. I, I will gladly discuss and share all of these ideas freely with you for the benefit of the solar industry. Things have to change. We can't all just keep doing this business as usual thing because it is breaking some customers. And guess what? They are choosing string inverters. Because of this whole policy, string inverters are now an option for everybody. Nobody wants to deal with the hassle and the headache that's been put behind the central inverter plan. It's not working anymore. Anyways, once again, reach out to me. Love for everyone to discuss this topic. I'd love to hear pros and cons. I'd love for someone to tell me that I'm wrong. I'm happy to entertain the idea that the current service platforms for the central inverter manufacturers is a good one. Love to talk about it. Thank you.